Okay, good afternoon and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. As stated in my previous video, uh, another fragrance review today. Uh, today we're going to be discussing a fragrance, or if I turn the camera a little, pretty windy fall, fallish day out here. It's actually pretty, it's beautiful. Wish I felt better. I've been sick for a uh, whole week, so uh, first day out of bed, I'm a little winded, so bear with me. All right, so uh, fragrance I want to review today is a fragrance by the House of Scent Story. It's 24 Gold Elixir, part of their new Elixir line. Um, or newer fragrances from the Elixir line. And this one is called 24 Gold Neroli. Now, I only have a few um, fragrances that have Neroli uh, in, in my collection. Um, oh, all right, guys. Geez. Um, let me just show you a little bit. Just you know, These are the samples, so I know it's not exciting, as exciting as getting the bottle, uh, but you know, it'll give you my basic um, you know, interpretation of what I smell. And just kind of show you what it looks like there. The, the, this particular one, all the scent story ones, share the same bottle, just different colors, of course. Uh, so this one here, uh, mischievous notes of complex fragrances hid behind the wall. Uh, sorry, the whitewashed walls, the high whitewashed wall. Intrigued, I boldly pushed a heavy studded wooden door, revealing the most sumptuous patio I'd ever seen. All right, so if you're, if you're not familiar with scent story, basically all their fragrances have a story. Uh, hence the name Scent Story, which, you know, when I reviewed some of their other fragrances in the past, I was just so happy to get my hands on 24 Gold, which I knew I was going to like, uh, and it's still one of my favorite fragrances. Um, you know, I, I didn't really, you know, look into exactly the company all that much, and I didn't really, I don't know, it didn't click that they do have a story. Uh, kind of like Imaginary Authors, they have a story of Imaginary Authors, and they have this kind of theme behind each one of their fragrances, so it's kind of what they do. Um, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you their story, okay? And, you know, bear with me here. Uh, like I said, I'm not the best here when it comes to uh, reading this, uh, reading anything, really, for that matter. I'm not a scholar by any means, but I do appreciate you guys watching me, and I do like to share um, my passion for cologne collecting and collecting anything, really, uh, with you guys. So, all right, so here we go. So, Cultural Wanderer. I first recognized the long avenue border with the tall trees and distinctive scent. Invigorating blend of orange blossom into the deep, conf comforting smell of fresh tobacco leaves, reminiscent of the old tobacco factory at the end of the street. See, now I'm intrigued a little because I love tobacco-based scents, which I wasn't expecting that in a Nero one that says Neroli, right? Uh, I walked past the old building that had once inspired the the, Car the Carmen novel. Uh, the whole atmosphere was as unique and vibrant as the characters of the famous opera, sparkling, seductive, warm, and slightly dramatic. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll let you guys finish that up there because in the last couple ones I read the whole thing and it just kind of becomes boring. You don't want to hear me. So what I am going to do is just kind of tell you about uh, some of the notes in this based on what they say on Fragrantica. And we're trusting that what they have on here is correct. Uh, again, this is a unisex fragrance. Um, and let's see what they say here. Uh, it has not been compared to anything yet on here. I'm just going to read you what a couple people say, uh, say about it as well. And what else here? I'm going to give you the notes. So this has a lot of notes in it. So from the top, you have white tea, bergamot, mint, tonic water, interesting, and orange. On your middle notes, you're going to have gardenia, ginger, violet, and neroli, of course. I would hope so, right? Base note, tonka bean, musk, and cedar. So now, this one I have not smelled yet. Let me go ahead and get a piece of paper. We're going to crack this out, okay? All right. Oh yeah, you definitely get the neroli on this. Well, you should, you should hope so, right? Now, one thing I found, you know, I have what's the the classic neroli scent that's been compared to Tom Ford's? Um, uh, was it Tom Ford's neroli? I don't know. Let me take a look real quick here, guys. Tom Ford. I love for Granica. Yeah, Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino is what I was I was gonna say, but I wasn't 100% sure on that one there. Uh, that one's been compared to um, uh, a, a very very old scent that's been around for uh, a really long time. That one is, uh, and I have it, uh, 4711 Cologne by uh, Mora and Wirtz. And now that fragrance right there, when I, when I think of Neroli after owning that fragrance and Trying to wear it, um, you know, it's not really, I'm not a really huge Neroli fan. Um, that fragrance right there to me smells very much like if I were to leave a barbershop, you know. And you just have that kind of like very dated barbershop smell. Now that's not to be said about all Neroli fragrances. Um, this one here definitely gives you sort of that medicinal barbershop vibe. But it is completely different. Um, 
I definitely get the mint in this. Uh, I can definitely smell a very strong mint note. And let's see what else do they say in here. See if I can smell anything else they have in here. I definitely get the ginger. This one's definitely different than the other ones I reviewed. The 24 Gold Elixir Ambrosia and Azor. This one's definitely, definitely different. And this one's what's surprising is I had mentioned that all uh, the scent story fragrances, when you smell them, you just know you're smelling a scent story fragrance. This one here, I can't really say I would really know if I was smelling one. And what's weird is even though I'm, let me open the window here, get a little fresh air going here. God, it's a beautiful day out there. Um, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. They, they do have a section on here. I just spoke too soon. If you, if you go to the website and you click the advanced button here, um, it'll actually take you to their, let's see here. It'll take you to the notes. So, uh, for Granica is correct. Tonic orange, tonic orange, they say. Mint and bergamot, white tea on the top notes, middle notes, neroli, violet, ginger, gardenia, uh, base notes, cedarwood, musk, and tonka bean. It's not a bad fragrance, but you really got to like uh, Neroli to really like this one. And although it's, uh, I don't dislike it, I'll definitely wear it. This one will definitely not be one of my favorites because I just don't, I guess the combination of, of uh, the mint and Neroli and ginger, it's just those aren't really ones I really, I really like. Like I have a, now this smells nothing like the one I'm going to tell you. Um, and again, this is not a bad fragrance, guys. I'm not in this on this at all. If you like that mint and neroli and gingery fragrances, you'll definitely like this. I don't really get a woody fragrance when I smell this, but then again, to my nose, I, it, it, you know, to my nose, a lot of fragrances where people say they can smell things, I have a hard time smelling them. You know, I guess I just get the notes that I'm more sensitive to. And I have a fragrance by Banana Republic uh, called Slate, and that one there, um, it has a lot of um, a lot of uh, um, ginger in it, and to me, the ginger is just I'm not really a huge fan of gingery colognes. Although I still wear it, although it's still one for my collection, uh, you know, I for my nose, and I want to say this because, you know, when I give you my opinion on this, I don't want you to take my opinion and just be like, oh, he doesn't like it, so I shouldn't buy it. Um, it's not my favorite one by Scent Story, but um, you know, of the three so far re I've reviewed, the Neroli, Ambrosia, and uh, Azor. I like the Ambrosia the best so far, but I haven't worn it yet. And so you really have to kind of wear these to really know if you're going to like them. That's what's kind of cool about cologne reviews is that, you know, when you get a watch, like, you know, there you go, a little Aragon for you. You review it, and you know you like it, you wear it, and it's the same. But with this kind of stuff, um, when you first smell it, and you wear it, and it dries down, and it changes, and it changes throughout the day, you some, so I put on fragrances where I'm like, mm-mm, you know, and then as it dried down, I'm like, wow, this is actually really good. So... You know, you really have to kind of sample it on your own. I definitely urge everybody, if you're interested in getting into stuff, to get these scent packs um, because they, they really give you, you know, you can actually wear it. You know, with, with one of these 1.5 mils, I mean, you can probably get three wears out of this, you know. And especially with Scent Story because their fragrances are Eau de Parfums. They are very, very strong and potent and powerful. You don't have to douse yourself with them. I still would, but that's just me. So uh, that's my review of the, um, oh, let me just, I, before I forget, um, some people, uh, let's see what they say. If you like yummy candy smell, this is for you. Um, this person said that they're loving this fragrance. Uh, it doesn't smell like any other Neroli that I own. And from my experience in Neroli, I, I agree with that absolutely. Uh, let's see here. So this guy here, this guy said he's picked up a bottle on for granted, or, uh, fra uh, fragrance by a few weeks back. He said the notes are entirely wrong. Uh, according to said story, the notes are tonic, orange, mint, bergamot, oh, like I already read you, okay? Um, I'm not sure why their description mentions tobacco. Now, I'm with them on that, actually, because I don't smell tobacco in that at all. Uh, this person said the dry down is reminiscent of Tom Ford Venetian bergamot. has the same cre creamy, slightly spicy, floral, almost banana, candy-like. And one thing I will say that... Uh, that one thing people you'll notice mention uh, with a lot of said story stuff is that candy, bubblegum, stuff like that. It's, it's because their fragrances are sweet. And I'll tell you right now, if you don't like sweet fragrances, you will not like most of the scent story fragrances. Now, when I say sweet, I don't mean you're going to put this on and be like, oh, God. It's, it's not like that. But it, it is, they are on the sweeter side 
of fragrances. Like you can't compare, let's say, this to your your Bentley Intense or or your uh, or your uh, you know Oud Wood or that kind of stuff. These are these are sweet sweeter fragrances and they're fresh and fruity and, and that's kind of what they do. So, all right, guys. Well, remember we have the comment section as always. If you have this stuff or have any questions, by all means, drop a comment. Uh, if you have any opinions on this stuff, or if I, or if, you know, uh, you know, you can't really tell me I'm wrong because I smell what I smell. We're all different. So, but definitely share your opinions. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Remember to subscribe. Remember when you do subscribe to click the bell icon. I believe it's the bell icon where you can actually get notified uh, when I upload a new video because there's going to be a lot more videos coming down the pike. I got tons of fragrances to review, and uh, I'll be coming back to these as the years go on, too, uh, to kind of tell you if my opinions have changed with this stuff. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.